Welcome to TPM Vids. If this is your first time watching the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. If you're a fan of Chuck E. Cheese's, you'd know that most restaurants are home to Munch's Make Believe Band, an animatronic show that plays throughout the day. Although this group of characters are the ones we've come to know, this wasn't always the case. Chuck E. Cheese's opened its doors on May 17, 1977 in San Jose, California, under the name Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater. It was the very first family restaurant to integrate food, an indoor arcade, and animated entertainment. As they say, it's where a kid can be a kid. Nolan Bushnell, founder of Pizza Time Theater, was very fond of the Walt Disney Company. It was a company he looked up to and wanted to work at, but never got the chance. The introduction of the animated animatronic figures in the Pizza Time Theater restaurant was sort of Bushnell's tribute to the Walt Disney Company since they were known for their audio animatronics. In 1980, another little entertainment pizza restaurant opened called Showbiz Pizza Place, and although it was a very similar concept to Pizza Time Theater, both restaurants did very well in the early 80s when the video game industry was booming. In 1981, Pizza Time Theater went public on the stock market, but with any ups, there's gonna be some downs, and the video game crash of 1983 took a big hit on Pizza Time Theater. In 1984, the company filed for bankruptcy, and Showbiz Pizza Place bought off all their assets and now owned Pizza Time Theater. Both companies remained separate entities until 1989, when they started to merge and brand all the restaurants as Chuck E. Cheese's by 1992. With the merge, Munch's Make Believe Band, the band we all know today, was born, and left behind in history were many different characters part of the Pizza Time players that are now extinct. So today, let's take a look at the top 10 extinct Chuck E. Cheese's animatronic characters. Number 10 to 8, The Original Gang. When Pizza Time Theater debuted its first animatronic show in 1977, it was referred to as the portrait style show where the figures appeared in portraits on the wall. The gang was called the Pizza Time Players and its main cast of characters were Chuck E. Cheese, Jasper T. Jowls, Pasquale, Krusty the Cat, and the Warblets. Krusty was one of the original band members in 1977, and according to this Pizza Time Theater menu, he was the cat's meow <laughs> in singing and joke telling, and was Chucky's straight man. Krusty's time at Pizza Time Theater was short lived and became the first character to be retired and go into extinction from Chuck E. Cheese's. This only happened in 1978, and he never made it out of the original store in San Jose, California. When he was retired in 1978, he was then replaced with Mr. Munch, who is still a character that can be seen today at Chuck E. Cheese's. Another little fun fact is that Krusty the Cat was also voiced by the original voice actor for Chuck. Now, every great band needs backup singers, and the Pizza Time Players were no exception. In 1977, they opened with the Warblets, who provided the background vocals for the band. The Warblets were three singing crows, and considering Nolan Bushnell's inspiration from the Walt Disney Company, it wouldn't be surprising if there was some influence on these three characters from the singing crows in the 1941 animated feature film Dumbo. In 1978, the Warblets went into a brief extinction and were replaced with the Mopsy Sisters, who are three singing mops, but luckily they were only used for a year, then the Warblets returned. During the late 80s with the construction of the Rocker and Sea Stages, the Warblets flew the coop and became extinct in the restaurants. Number 7 to 4, The Guest Stars. Before Pizza Time Theater went bankrupt and was sold to Showbiz Pizza Place, the Pizza Time players featured a variety of animatronic guest stars. These characters appeared in the original portrait style show as well as in the newly designed balcony stages. All the guest stars utilized the same animatronic figure but were just reskinned as a different character and had their backdrop changed to coincide with the appropriate show tapes. The first guest star appeared in 1978 and went by the name of Foxy Flanagan or Foxy Colleen. She was a female Irish fox who performed Irish style songs. Next was Madame Oink, a pig that spoke with a French accent who'd oink anytime someone told her a joke. She also premiered in 1978 and I guess you could say she tried to hog the spotlight when she was on stage. Now after Madame Oink was Sally Sachet, a disco singing skunk. She didn't have a very long run and only appeared in 1979, then got the boot. 
Next came Harmony Howlett, a tomboyish cowgirl coyote from Western Texas. Harmony stayed with the band from 1981 to 1982, while Madame Oink was also still used until 1983. Once Pizza Time Theater filed for bankruptcy in 1984, Madame Oink became the last guest star to be featured. Then Helen Henney, who was a past guest star for the portrait stage in 1978, was her replacement on the balcony stage. At this moment in 1984, all the Pizza Time player guest stars minus Helen Henney became extinct and were never seen in the spotlight again. Number three and two, the cabaret stage. A little while after the opening of Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater in 1977, locations began receiving a cabaret stage that was added to a separate room in the restaurants. These cabaret stages would feature animal characters who'd parody and impersonate famous musical artists. Not to mention the names of the characters were pretty punny. The Beagles were a group of animatronic dogs who were designed to parody and look like the Beatles. They were able to be seen in the restaurants performing to Beatles songs until they were replaced by the Beach Bowsers, who utilized the same animatronic robots and were retrofitted to fit the old figures. The animatronics remained dogs with each figure designed to look like a member of the Beach Boys and would perform the Beach Boys songs. Also to appear on the cabaret stages was the King Animatronic. He was a nine foot tall lion that was designed to be an Elvis impersonator with the hair, white suit and guitar just like Elvis Presley himself. Later down the line, some of the King animatronics were retrofitted to become the King Cat, who was a Michael Jackson-themed character. The animatronic was given a new wig, sunglasses, a red sequence jacket, and a glove, just like MJ himself was famous for. The King Cat was said to be Chuck E. Cheese's last hope for success, since the company was on the brink of filing for bankruptcy. Only a few restaurants got the King Cat installed before the company went bankrupt in 1984. The remainder of the restaurants kept the Elvis-inspired character The King, and the last figure was said to have been around until 1995. It should also be noted that at the time, these cabaret figures were programmed to the original artist's song tracks. This would have required a music license to use the songs for the shows, and was most likely very costly for the company. By the mid-1990s, most locations had all the cabaret acts removed. They became extinct with the focus of animatronic entertainment now being in the main showroom. Number 1. Munch Jr. Once the company officially merged, all restaurants were branded as Chuck E. Cheese's by 1992. This meant that previous showbiz pizza place locations with the Rock of Fire Explosion Band had their characters retrofitted with the Chuck E. Cheese characters. One Rock of Fire character was Choo Choo, a baby bear who lived in a tree stump. During the switchover, Choo Choo became the Munch Jr. character, who, as his name suggests, is a mini version of Mr. Munch, with one tooth and an orange propeller cap. He'd be seen bouncing up and down to the music, but never spoke. Since the mid to late 1990s, all the Munch Jr. animatronics were removed, either due to children vandalizing the characters, or they just weren't working properly anymore. Their areas were boarded and carpeted over, and from that moment, he became extinct. Now, to this day though, there is still one Munch Jr. animatronic hanging around. It's at the Wilmington, North Carolina location. It's not in working condition, so it's only a matter of time probably until he's removed and joins the rest of the animatronics in extinction. The present day. Now, depending on the Chuck E. Cheese location you go to, some of the restaurants got an update to the Studio C stage in the 1990s, which just included the Chuck animatronic. So in a sense, the other band members have already become extinct at some locations. But in a recent announcement in August 2017 from CEC Entertainment, they announced the first major overhaul of the restaurant in 20 years. This overhaul includes the removal of the animatronic band members in favor of a large dance floor and the frequent appearances of their live costume characters. Tom Leverton, CEO of Chuck E. Cheese's, said that the animatronics have become the sideshow, and the kids stopped looking at the animatronics years and years ago. This overhaul is only set right now to take effect at seven of the restaurants in the chain, but the company seems to think that this new design will eventually be carried out in the other 500 or so stores. So this would mean that the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics will all take their final bow, become completely extinct, and go down in the Chuck E. Cheese history books. So, 
What's your opinion on the recent announcements made by Chuck E. Cheese's of the removal of the animatronics in the restaurant? And if you could bring back or save one character either from the extinct animatronics or from the current band members, which one would it be? Leave a comment below and start a conversation. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like!